Let's bring in the details now. Now, Ghana has been drawn in Group H of the 2022 Qatar World Cup alongside Portugal, Uruguay and Korea, South Korea. And the draw, which was done in Doha, Qatar, will see Ghana's Black Stars take on Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal in what will be a tough first game. Now, for more on this, I've been joined by City Sports' Fentu Tahiru Fentu to more or less uh, talk about today's draw. Uh, uh, an yeah. exciting one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um a lot of uh, familiar stories, familiar opposition. Uh, Portugal, interestingly, uh, were Ghana's last game at the World Cup, the last time they were at the World Cup in 2014. So the last time Ghana played a World Cup game was actually against Portugal. Yeah. Uh, and that match they lost by two goals to one, Cristiano Ronaldo scored. Uh, then you look at Uruguay. It seemed that every Ghanaian is so familiar with, with Luis Suarez, the handball from 2010. So that's a team Ghana is very familiar with. Many people obviously looking forward to some sort of revenge. <laughs> you don't want it to be dished out to you twice. And then there's South Korea, a team that Ghana actually played in the build-up to the 2014 World Cup in a friendly game. Mm -hmm. They won that match by four goals to one. Jordan Ayu scored a hat-trick, his first and only hat-trick for the Black Stars of Ghana. So every single team in Ghana's group is familiar uh, proposition. And it is, it is one that could prove dicey. Um, I think it's a manageable group. Mm. Uh, they are much tougher groups in that uh, <laughs> in that World Cup group. E, nobody wanted to go into Group E because when the draw was being done, Group E was becoming available. And when I keep mentioning Group E, because that's a group that has Spain, that has Germany, that has Japan, mm. and uh, <laughs> nobody mm. wants to go in there. So uh, I think Group H, obviously, it does also come with a bit of uh, good fortune. I'm not saying that Ghana will win the World <laughs> Cup, Bobby, but in 2010, Spain won the World Cup after being drawn in Group H. Mm, in mm, 2014, mm. Okay. Germany won the World Cup after being drawn in Group H. In 2018, France won the World Cup after being drawn in Group H. So, Ghana being drawn in Group H. You never know. We could win the World Cup. <laughs> I'm not saying you win the World Cup. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just stating facts. Interesting. Um, but it, it is a... It is a very interesting group, and I think that um, many Ghanaians will see it as a, as a group that they can manage. Uh, the first game, of course, is against Portugal. Mm. Uh, and then after that, there's South Korea. The last group game is, is against Uruguay. So you don't want to get into, uh, go into that particular match needing to win, mm. and then Uruguay stick it to you again. But so, I mean, is, 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 isn't that the, I mean, the norm? We normally win a, a game, draw one, and then we need to win another one. <laughs> yeah, and, we... it, and that's the thing, and you don't want that. Yeah. Mostly, for example, most teams want to get comfortable. If you win your first two matches, you, you basically don't need to win the, first, yeah. the, the third one, uh, and then you can get through. Every time you go into the, the group stages needing to win the last game there's always extra tension sure. extra motivation uh, from the other position as well so it can kind of get a bit tricky but i think it's a group that ghana can manage i think that at the end of the the standing it could actually end up being exactly the way it is arranged uh with portugal on top ghana in second <laughs> maybe uruguay and then south korea exactly like this so uh, but that's what it is group h um i don't think it is the toughest uh, group that mm -hmm. Ghana could have had. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they were much tougher on paper, of course, uh, oppositions in, 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 in the group stages, but this is a manageable one. So, so you're confident we'll make it out? I mean, I've been on Twitter and the Nigerians are just saying, you know, we're just going to play three games and uh, we're, we're actually going to come back. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the thing, Ghana's been to three previous World Cups, only one of those did it not make it out of the group stages. And that was 2014, and we all know the story from mm. 2014 and what happened and what possibly derailed that campaign. Uh, there are many people that believe that if Ghana didn't have all of that bonus row and all of those uh, you know, controversial things that happened in, in, in that particular World Cup, they would have made it out of that group. Mm. Uh, you know, they played a fantastic 2 all draw with Germany. The only team to 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 not be beaten by Germany mm -hmm. in their road to winning the World Cup, so you know they show their quality there. Now I'm sure there's a lot of time before the games actually you know yeah. begin later on in the year. I mean, what what steps do we need to take as a country to ensure we are well prepared to not you know uh, go out there and just play three games and return? Yeah, um, preparation is always key. It's mm -hmm. very important, and that requires uh, foresight. And, 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 and good planning. Mm. Um, you know, because the World Cup will be played in Qatar, this will be played
played in November. This is a very unusual World Cup. Mm -hmm. Usually, the World Cup is played in, uh, in June and July, yeah. in the summer. Mm -hmm. In the summer, Qatar is very hot, so they've taken it to November, where the weather is a bit manageable. So it's important for us, for example, in, when it comes to camping, to come at a place with similar weather conditions as mm -hmm. Qatar in that time of the year. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at Dubai, for example, the UAE, that, or Saudi Arabia, and those places will be in extremely high demand at the moment, mm -hmm. simply because every other country would want to go to those places. So wow. that requires a lot of foresight from us. Mm. And then number two, we need to do uh, very honest team selection. In mm -hmm. the past, that is one thing that's kind of, you know, threats. I'm going to go with the same guys that qualified you know, us. Not necessarily. And mm -hmm. that's the thing. So just because you participated or contributed to this qualification, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you deserve a place at the next World Cup. Mm -hmm. If we get a better player, we need to take the better player. Mm -hmm. It is about taking the best, putting your best foot forward. So it is a fact that those that qualify for this World Cup were not necessarily our very best. There mm -hmm. are several positions in that team where an upgrade could come from another individual player mm -hmm. elsewhere mm -hmm. that did not make, uh, make it for these two games against Nigeria. And if those people become available and we know they can improve the team, we need to take, put sentiments aside and say that this guy will make us better. Mm. So therefore, we need to take him to the World Cup. So, and I think team selection, good team selection is key. Proper planning is key as well. And then on the day, we need to see a lot of motivation, a lot of desire. It's the World Cup. You only get to play it once every four years. This is the best 32 countries in, the in world. world football. Yeah. Out of 211, to be part of that, it's a massive privilege. So when you step out there, you need to put your best foot forward every single time. And I think that Ghana, um, they, can, they can make it out of this group if, if, if all things go well. Group H. Group H. Thank you so much. Thank you. What, what it is. Thank you, Tyree. Thank you, uh, head of sports here at uh, uh, City uh, TV and City uh, for. Uh,